Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God said, if a man can't check on his baby mother and his children, he don't care. Anytime a man can't check on his baby mother and his kids, he don't care about you. You want to know, is that man making you his priority? If he's not making you his priority, why are you wasting your time with this man? Stop wasting your time with this baby father of yours and, or your husband. Because I'm going to tell you this. Before you get married to anybody, make sure they can take care of you. In 1 Timothy 5 and 8, it reads, But if anyone does not provide for his relative and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. God said you are worse than an unbeliever. Anytime a man can't do what he's supposed to do for his family, anytime you calling, you checking, it's just these baby fathers out here, they just they just turn against baby mothers because baby mothers putting them on child support. It's like if a baby mother put the baby father on child support, they don't want to talk to you no more. They don't want they have a relationship. You don't have to post. Listen, you don't have to have a relationship with the baby mother. You supposed to have a relationship with your child. Just because you and the baby mother broke up does not mean that you broke up with your child. You need to take care of your responsibility. A lot of fathers out here trifling. That's not my business. You don't have a job. You need to go apply for a job. That's not her business. It's not my business neither. All I'm saying is if you a father, you laid down, had sex with her, you need to take care of your responsibility. You got to realize when you have sex with a woman, you're not wearing protection. Guess what? You got to take care of your responsibility. Nobody wants to take care of your responsibility but yourself. You got to stop being trifling. Stop doing things that you're not ready to do. Because guess what? After you laid down, did your dirt, you got to get up and take care of your responsibility. Be a man. Don't be a coward. Be a man. Take initiative to your actions. Don't be trifling and allow another man to take care of your dirt, to take care of your mess, to take care of your filthiness. You have kids out here and you allowing another man to take care of your kid. You are sorry. It's, 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 you are a sorry person. Anybody that does that, you need help. You really need some help. Because I'm going to tell you this. Baby father need to do better. That's all I got to say. Baby fathers out here got to do better. They think that the mother is suffering. Ain't nobody suffering but you. Because guess what? The Bible says what goes around comes around. You think what you're doing to your child. You think she don't feel that. You think your son don't feel that. And then some of these fathers out here got favoritism against these kids. You keep treating these kids the way how you treat them. And watch when you get sick. Watch when you need help. Ain't nobody going to be there to help you. Because the way you did other people. People don't understand that people suffer through stuff. Because they treat people so mean, so disrespectful. God got a time for everybody. You're going to have a time in your life when you're going to suffer, you're going to go through. But I'm telling you, some of us, we need to get up and repent. We need to ask our church to baptize us because you you, you, you worse than an unbeliever. And you know what? My thing is, I all I can say to you ladies is be careful who you lay down with. Just because he tell you some nice things in your ears, don't fall for that mess. Same with the married people. You can be married. He can tell you anything. You don't know. Listen, you got to be careful. Any relationship, you going to have issues. Ain't no perfect relationship out here. You got to learn how to curry God in everything you do. I don't care what nobody tell you. Curry God in everything you do. Because God is all you need. All I'm saying is, you got a baby father that don't even care about the baby mother and the children. That's not right. You don't treat the children how you feel about that baby mother. You take care of that responsibility. You lay down with that baby mother. Guess what? She got pregnant. She forgot to take her birth control. She forgot to um, whatever, wear her protection. 
Y'all pregnant? Take care of your responsibility. See, the, the, the sad thing is, the, some of these fathers out here, they know what they're doing. They know they had sex with you raw. They knew, they knew what they was doing was disrespectful. They knew they didn't wear no protection. All I'm saying is take care of your responsibility. Be a man. Then you, when you get pregnant, you complain the whole pregnancy. Be thankful that you're pregnant. Some of y'all, let me tell you this. Some of y'all, some women just ungrateful. God allow you to be pregnant. Some of you married. God allow you to be pregnant. You complain so much about your weight. You better learn how to be grateful about your pregnancy. Take your, listen, take care of your responsibility. You see me? Look at me. I take care of my responsibility. I'm a single mother. I've been doing this for six years, going on seven years. I take care of my responsibility. I don't look forward for a man to help me. Because listen, when a man hold a door open for me, I say thank you. God bless you. Because I don't get that. I don't get that type of, you know, respect. Because the way how I am sometimes, I don't even allow people to help me with my bags. I do everything on my own. But now I'm kind of open a little bit. I, I, You know, somebody asked me, oh, you need help with your bags? Yes, you can help me with my bags. All I'm saying is, as a woman, continue to do what you got to do. You got to put that baby father on child support. Do what you got to do. Take care of your kids. Do what you got to do. Don't worry about that baby father because I'm going to tell you something. What he do to you, he will He will reap what he sow. I don't care what you have against your baby mother. You take care of your responsibility. You lay down. You did your business. You had sex with her. You get up and you take care of your responsibility. Don't be a coward. Be a father to your child. I don't care how she treats you. I don't care what she did to you. You got to learn how to ignore things that your baby mother did in the past. You got to learn how to walk and say, Lord, touch her. See, some of y'all don't even know how to pray for your baby mother. Pray for your baby father. Ask God to deliver them from evil. Anytime you're going through so much, it's because you need deliverance. You need prayer. But I'm praying that God touch these baby fathers out here because it's a shame that the system got to put you on child support because you're not willing to help your baby mother out. You are sorry. May the Lord search your heart and may the Lord help you to be a believer and not an unbeliever. You need to be saved. You need to be delivered. You need to be set free because you got demons in you. The Lord will save you and he will deliver you from evil. You be blessed and you continue to pray. God bless you.